the hell happened to the great tree? I'm not sure, but I have a bad so feeling about it. What is this feeling? It's like I'm about to remember something important. <laughs> hmm. Yeah! 
Dear. Great job! Things may be calm now, but you never know when a primordial might appear. At all, do you believe we will survive this experience? <laughs> I am relieved to hear you say that. At all. No, Sir Adol, I apologize for my impertinence, but I must ask a favor of you. This situation is without precedent, and I will lay my life on the line to keep us safe. However, should the worst happen to befall me, please look after Mistress Laxia in my stead. <laughs> From a young age, Mistress Laxia has always conducted herself with pride. However, she struggles to put aside that pride. As her loyal servant, I find her impatience to be vexing and worrying in equal measure. But I believe the time will soon come when Mistress Laxia no longer requires my service. She has grown more wise, thanks to you. I believe her pride and determination will prove to be valuable assets to her now. And I believe she can overcome any hardship facing House Roswell. <laughs> the future is promising indeed. <laughs> Duly noted. You speak true. However, there is something else that I still expect from you. Though it might be more fitting to say, you still have a responsibility to uphold. <laughs> I see through your feigned ignorance. In any case, I will continue to serve Mistress Laxia for the time being. Thank you for everything, Adol.
Hmm, strange. We should have reached the temple by now. Huh, did we miss it? What are you saying? We couldn't have missed it! Hey, is the path supposed to be this long? N no, something is clearly amiss here. I don't sense any Saurians. What's going on? Only way we'll find out is if we keep moving. Is everyone here? Yes, we are. I have a bad feeling about this. Everyone, be careful.
Adol? Adol? What's... Donna? <laughs> Just showed up out of the blue. Why the hell does that all have it? You received that exact same symbol after you fought a primordial in the fog. What? fog surrounding the great tree is expanding. What's going on? The evolution of the world, begun anew by the great tree of origins. Something's coming from the fog. That's the robed fellow we saw at the Valley of Kings. But who are the others? A thousand pardons for bewildering you. Let us begin by introducing ourselves. My name is Hydra. I am Minos. Upon closer examination, you humans are far more frail-looking than I had expected. My name is Nesta. I do not require that you commit it to memory, nevertheless. We are well met. And I am Umrah. You are at all, I presume. We wish you no harm. Really? I'm skeptical, but I suppose we should hear them out. So who are you? Selection and rejection. As I mentioned before, this process is the means by which the Great Tree fosters evolution. We are the Wardens of Evolution, beings who have been tasked with overseeing that process. The Wardens of Evolution? Uh, what you said earlier, the evolution of the world begun anew by the Great Tree of Origins? What does that mean? It is beyond your ken. The Lacrimosa has visited this world many times over the ages. That humans now claim dominion over this world will not forestall the inevitable. You mean... Exactly. The same fate that befell the Eternians will befall you. Humans have been rejected for the coming evolution. What? What? You mean we're all gonna die? Unfortunately, yes. The Lacrimosa will bring forth a cataclysm, which varies in accordance with the era. The resurgence of the prehistoric world unfolding before your very eyes? That is, in fact, the Lacrimosa of this era. Its effects are currently confined to this island, but in due time, it will spread across the world. So it has been decided, since time immemorial. Oh no. Yeah, this has got to be some kind of joke. 
We're getting out of here and going back to our normal lives. These are understandable reactions. I sympathize with your plight, but there is nothing we can do. Not once in the entire span of existence has a species thrived forever. By necessity, the species must be renewed to maintain the world. Simply put, the Lacrimosa is the natural law of the world. All living creatures must accept its judgment. What does that mean? Uh, Donna? No, I... Hmm. It seems you've remembered. <laughs> when the Lacrimosa comes, a single individual is selected from the species facing extinction. That individual will then witness the destruction of their own species. In doing so, the cycle of selection and rejection will be perpetuated for all eternity. We, the Wardens of Evolution, are those chosen. You, Donna, are the chosen Warden of the Eternian Era. It is only right that you be by our side. The symbol on your arm, Adol, is proof that you've been selected to be a warden. That is why we have come to greet you. Uh, why was Adol chosen? Only the brightest soul among the species facing extinction is selected to become a warden. As the selected soul, you are beholden to this fate. Now cease your resistance and join us. No, we refuse to accept this! Hmm, what a pity. They are merely overwhelmed by the gravity of our sudden revelation. Nothing more. For now, we will take our leave of you. You will see us again. Steal yourselves. Until we meet again, Donna. Over here, Donna. Olga!
This area is still intact. Oh. <sighs> this is no time for tears. Hey, look! It's the Maiden of the Great Tree! Oh, no. Where do you think you're going, your eminence? You run in from your guilty conscience? Is that it? I remember I used to see you gallivanting around town without a care in the world, playing with children, wandering around the market. You treated your position like a joke. That's right. You invited the star's wrath. You're no maiden to us, witch. Give me. Give me back my daughter. Give me back Mia, you murderer. Everyone, please. Just calm down. I... I didn't... So, you had nothing to do with this? Rastel? Then please, tell me why this happened, Your Eminence. Why didn't you protect Eternia? Why didn't you protect your people? Rastel... They found my father's body, near the crater, where the falling star landed. Duran? I... I didn't know. I don't have an answer for you, Rastel. But as your maiden, and as a friend to all who have fallen and to those who still live, I want to know why this happened more than anyone. I want to know why so many people had to die. I want to know how I can still save Eternia, still save my people. Your Eminence. All hope is not lost. I am Donna Eclusia, maiden of the Great Tree protector and leader of the people of Eternia. I never have and never will forsake my solemn duty. I will learn the truth of what happened here, no matter what. Now stand aside! <sighs> you really expect us to believe a word coming out of your mouth? Yeah! Get her! I understand why you are angry, but... Go, Your Eminence. Rastel! Hey! What are you doing? You're siding with her? She's the reason your father's dead! There are things I'll never be able to tell my father now. But I know with all my heart that he died upholding his sworn duty. So I will honor my father's memory by living my life as he lived his. I will keep my promise and protect the maiden at all costs. You, traitor! You must hurry. But... Don't worry about me. Just let me keep my promise to you. I promise I will find out why this happened and come back. I know you will. You face Rastel! Son of Chief Gardran! The maiden's getting away! Out of the way, you! there. For everyone's sake, I need to hurry.
was it over there, Olga? The people at the temple are fine. Rastalus. Rastal? Is he alright? He's barely breathing, but I'll do what I can. Okay. Olga, please take care of him. Forbidden Valley of Kings is up ahead. Please, let me make it in time. Vision just now. I need to do whatever Here. I can. All Come. I can. So... The Wardens of Evolution. Ah... Uh, Saren Garden. I've not seen this place in ages. As you have come here, I can only surmise that you are not ready to join us yet. Have you been here before? Of course. I am the architect of this garden. What? Take notice. The water bridges represent each species of a given era. The weak flow from that water bridge is the collective psyche of the Eternians. <laughs> Far stronger psyches are required to disrupt the providence of the Lacrimosa. 
Look upon the tree of psyches. See how young it is. The collective psyches of species past are not sufficient to spur its growth. Was it not made clear to you in your scarlet vision? You have no means by which to save your doomed species. You have shown remarkable fortitude in the face of this adversity. That is why I think you understand. The Lacrimosa cannot be stopped. But... this garden was my last hope. We shall take our leave of you, Donna. Should you change your mind, please seek an audience with us. We will not turn you away. After all, you are a fellow Warden of Evolution. No. It's not over yet. I'm sure he will feel the same as I do. The time will come for this place. I tried to call out to him one last time, hoping there could still be a chance, but it was no use. You... How long will you continue this folly? The Cataclysms have wiped out all Eternians. Even your best friend, Olga, is gone. Olga, she gathered the remaining people at the palace and tried to lead them until the end. It was heroic of her. I see. Far be it from me to ask you this, but why not allow yourself to feel a measure of peace? Why are you still doing this? Because... Because there are still people I can save. Who do you mean? The Eternians are no more. Not them. Adol and his allies, who are defying the Lacrimosa in the distant future, and the Wardens of Evolution, enthralled by its curse. I can still save them both. So please, let me help you, Sarai. So you noticed? Yes. It's a foolish notion to think that we could ever be freed from this curse. Do you even understand what you're saying? I see the way you wardens look at me. I think I remind you all of the people you used to be. Huh. You wouldn't. Why? I... I don't understand.
battle. 